Welcome to day 20 of Lent. Today, we want to focus on blessings. If I could sing on tune, I'd sing that old hymn, Count Your Blessings, Name Them One by One. Do you remember that one? Well, that sounds really cute, but how many of us actually do that? When I was around eight years old, our family were friends with a family whose 15-year-old daughter died of leukemia. And even at that young age, I was struck by how the parents of that young lady responded. They could have complained that they didn't get to go to her graduation, or her dad didn't get to walk her down the aisle at her wedding, or they didn't get to hold her baby, which would be their grandchild. No, they thank God for the 15 years that he gave to them as a daughter. I've heard that scenario played many times in my life. Some are bitter that God took their children at a young age. Others counted their blessings and they named them one by one. I don't need to tell you this, but it's more natural for sinners to complain than to give thanks. Our tendency to complain is one of the results of the selfishness of sin. Complaining reminds us that we keep sticking ourselves in the center of our worlds and making life all about us. But gratitude? Yeah, gratitude is a powerful weapon against complaint. It's impossible to give thanks and to complain at the same time. If we are complainers, then we really don't see life in the reality that God expects for us. God has given us amazing grace, and He has unleashed in our lives blessings that are too many to count. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try to name them one by one. So at the end of this video, get out a journal, or maybe open up a Google or Word document on your computer, and begin to list every way that God has unleashed His amazing grace and blessings in your life. List as many as you can. And then over the following days of Lent, devote two minutes each day to add to that list. Begin counting your blessings and watch how the practice begins to alter the way that you look at life. Let me give you blessing number one. God, our Heavenly Father, invaded this world in the name of Jesus, who died on a cross taking on all of our sins. And He arose from the dead three days later, proving victory over sin and death. And now, as His disciples, we can live forever in the presence of God. Gratitude silences complaint.